today we are going to be using one of the latest features in chassis to IES um, that's object animation introduced in version 4.40.01 so object animation basically enables you to create an animation not by defining the frames as you have in frame animation which is the traditional way of animation but rather by defining object behavior so it could have something like a ball against the background and you define how the ball will behave to create your animation which is exactly what you're going to be doing for this tutorial exercise so i have an empty workspace here uh 720p uh i'm going to use that um so i'm going to keep this really simple just to demonstrate how this works so i'll start by creating a simple sky um using the shape tool so just rectangular uh, blue rectangle um maybe add a green rectangle for the ground again i'm just going to keep this really really simple um so i'm going to add a ball a sprite of a ball which is what we are going to be animating in today's video okay so here you go um let me resize that uh, that looks too big for this particular background um so to 50 percent of the original size okay that's good um i'm going to add a shadow a matching shadow for the ball uh, for that i'll just add a new layer using the button over here i'm going to give that a back, uh, black background so that it's easier to create the shadow uh I'll, let's enable the guidelines so that we can see how well we've aligned this okay so using the gt shape tool i'll uh, select the ellipse mode uh set both colors to black start from the center of that and create the shadow uh so the shadows is uh, in front of the ball we need to fix that using the z order uh just come to the layers window over here as you can see the shadow is on top of the ball so we fix that uh now we have the shadow behind the ball which is what we want so let's just take a look at that on the previewer yeah so that's our ball uh now we want to animate this ball and its shadow uh so to do that we are going to switch to the new image mode which is object animation and when you do that you have this window over here which is the animation timeline that's where we're going to define the key times that will uh, tell chassis draw what to do when uh so the first thing we want to do is uh, to make the ball bounce so we need it to move along the y axis with time uh, so I'm going to add a new key time at uh, 500 milliseconds. I want the ball to move up. Say, okay, this is 720. So let's say it's going to move up 500 pixels. So negative because it's moving up. Negative 500 pixels. Uh, we don't want that moving linearly uh, because after all it is a bouncing ball and it's under the influence of gravity. So you want that to slow down as it goes up. Uh, so sign forward. Now, if you look at this, you can see our ball shooting up, but then it is coming down immediately. That's because you haven't defined a path back to the ground. Uh, let me just zoom in the timeline. Okay, uh, not so much. So we are going to add another key time for the re uh, for the return path for the ball. So it's going to go back to zero where it started off, and now using sign but in reverse. Okay. So here's our bouncing ball. Okay. Uh, now we also want to animate the shadow. So the first thing I'm going to... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, let me just undo that. Okay. We've undone that. So now using the hand tool, I'm going to select the shadow. Okay. No key times for the shadow because we haven't defined any yet. So I want the shadow to change in terms of transparency as, as the ball goes up because, you know, it's casting a shadow that isn't as sharp anymore. Um, so we are going to have that at uh, 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. 
want the transparency value to change to say 160 remember 255 is full transparency zero is full opacity in chassis draw um so there we have that we need the return path so add another key time uh 1000 value back to zero sign reverse so if you look at this you can see the shadow is uh basically disappearing as the ball goes up uh we also want the shadow to move so i'm going to add a key time for the x axis uh 500 let's move the shadow to the right um because of the direction of uh, light on the ball as you can see right here that gives us an idea of the direction of light is coming this way so i want that to move to the right um say uh 400 pixels say okay um same function okay and the return path for that zero inverse at a thousand okay so we have our, sh our shadow moving like that i also want it to move along the y just so it's more realistic uh, as dictated by the angle of the light uh, so we want it to move up a bit say 100 pixels up same thing uh return path and that's our animation